I'm sharing this as a warning. Please don't buy a board game called Ghost Call, no matter how legit it looks. I found the game at a 7-Eleven store on the outskirts of my town. It doesn't get much business, but I like to drink their Slurpees. That particular day, there was no one at work, but the store was open. So I went in to check if anything had happened to Claire, the clerk. I couldn't find her anywhere, so I was about to leave the store because I assumed it was closed, and Claire forgot to lock the door. But something caught my eye. There was a stack of green and white boxes on the shelf closest to me. I come here every day, and I never noticed the boxes. I picked one up. It was a board game, and selling for $2 too. Great deal. I knew the store was closed, so I left a $2 note on the counter and left. When I brought the game home, I got a better look at it. It was a white box with green streaks along the edges. On the top of the box was a cartoon boy and a cartoon girl laughing at a telephone. Weird. The box was wrapped in clear plastic like those legit board games you can buy for $40 at toy shops. I opened it up and inside was a red telephone, the old kind, with a spinny dial, which was on the box as well and a few cards with numbers on them. On the back of the box were the instructions. This is where it gets weird. I'll try to say it out loud for you. How to play. On the first turn, pick up a card and dial the number on the card. Subsequently, go from left to right. Each pick up a card. On the back of the card, there is a question. On your turn, dial the number chosen on the first turn and ask the question into the phone. The game ends when everyone has had a turn. Simple game, though it sounded really stupid. But the weird part were the warnings. Written in bright red with a marker next to the instructions. Warning, stop playing if you start getting silent phone calls. You start getting phone calls on your personal phone with the number you chose on the first round. You have played three rounds. You feel an uncomfortable presence in the room. You hear unusual sounds that you shouldn't hear. Example, door knocking, water dripping, only start playing again 24 hours later. I started getting chills, but it looked like somebody wrote those warnings to make the game more appealing, so I didn't worry much. That night, I called my friends over to play the game with me. I figured it would be fun. We would laugh at how stupid the game was. I called over three friends, Amos, Zoe, and Elliot. They have been my best friends since kindergarten. When they all arrived, we sat on the floor with the game in the middle of us. I read the rules and warnings to them, and we all laughed. It really seemed like a really bad advertising strategy. On the first turn, Elliot picked up a card with the number 67281209. He then picked up another card and dialed the number on the phone. He called it and asked, What's your favorite food? Suddenly, he dropped the phone. He had a startled look on his face. Whoa, he said. That's fucking creepy. Now all of us were excited. It was my turn next. I picked up a card and dialed the number. What is your mother's name? I asked into the phone. Maria. The phone said in my voice. I dropped the phone in surprise. Same as Elliot. Not only did it reply in my voice, my mother's name is actually Maria. I laughed. It was so creepy. But I had no explanation as to how the phone got my voice and my mother's name. Next was Amos' turn. He dialed the number and asked, how many siblings do you have? He had the same reaction as Elliot and I. 
So did Zoe. It was all good fun, so we decided to do another round. The next round was less fun. Elliot picked another number and called it, asking, How old are you? We waited for a while, before Elliot said, It's not responding. I knew it was one of the warnings, but it was just advertising strategy, right? As time went by, more things happened. Zoe started getting calls on her personal phone from the number we dialed. That was creepy, but we didn't stop. Amos started crying. We didn't know why. It was also creepy. But he calmed down and we just continued with the game. All we cared about was fun. Soon, we had played three rounds. Then four. Then five. But when we started the sixth round, I started feeling uncomfortable which was the final warning. I knew we should stop then, but nothing had happened so far, so I didn't say anything. When it came to Amos' turn in the sixth round, he picked up the card and froze. He looked really scared. He showed us the card, which read, Why aren't Zoe, Amos, Elliot, and Dennis, me, stopping? That was the icing on the creepy cake. We packed up the game and threw it out the window. The rest of the night was tense. No one mentioned anything about the game. When it came to 10pm, everyone started leaving. Soon I was alone, still creeped out. I walked to my room and sat down. I locked the doors and windows to be safe and went to sleep. I was woken up at 1am by my phone ringing. I picked it up and checked the number. 67281209. The number from the first game. I didn't answer. Throughout the night, I kept getting calls. Eventually at 5am, I picked up. Hello? I can hear you breathing. <sighs> is this some weird advertising strategy your company is doing? It's really creepy, you know? <sighs> okay, I'm going to hang up. Screaming. I hung up then, overwhelmed with shock and fear. Since then, I've been getting daily calls from the same number. But just now, it was different. It was a different number. So I picked up. Hello? Hello? In my voice. I was about to hang up, but I wanted to know more. <sighs> what is your name? Dennis. Muffled laughing. I hung up. Who was the guy with my voice? I don't know. But I beg you not to play this game. It's extremely creepy and really freaks me out. I'm not sure what happens from here, but I'll update you when something else happens. Shout out to my super fans, Sweet Black Swan, Tacey, and Brooklyn. I really appreciate you guys supporting my channel, and I really look forward to making more content for everyone.